Hi Greenhouse, this is Jenny White and I'm here to share some things that God's taught me over the years um, about prayer and some practices that have helped me through uh, seasons of real difficulty and hardship and I know we're all facing a season of a lot of uncertainty and being stuck together or being stuck alone, all kinds of different um, new and hard and uncharted territories as we hear so often. And so there's some practices over many centuries that Christians have done to help themselves walk through hard times. And there's some prayer practices we can do to help grow our relationship with Jesus deeper so that we're really connecting with him in a way that can grow right now when we're not out really busy, when we're stuck at home a lot. So um, today there are going to be three to five minutes and I'll do them hopefully a few times a week. And for some of them will be more adult focused and some of them will be for families. But today I wanted to start with one that God laid on my heart for us. And that is um, from the, it comes from the story in Joshua 3 and 4 where the Israelites are about to cross into the promised land. Joshua is leading them. And so God tells the priests to carry the Ark of the Covenant uh, into the River Jordan. And as long as they're holding it up there, all the Israelites can cross into the promised land. And then he has the 12 tribes go back and pick up a stone. And later this is built into an altar to remind them of what God did, this miracle that he did to lead them into the promised land. And uh, so that they can tell their children and the generations after. And so something that Brian and I have done in our family over the years is we've had a bowl, which um, is has rocks in it, kind of like uh, our own stones of remembrance of the ways God has been faithful to us. Because when we're struggling through hard times, looking back at God's faithfulness helps steady us. It helps ground us and, um, and it helps us remember that he is faithful and his faithfulness never changes. And so I just wanted to share this idea that I have for, for us at Greenhouse to take time. Most of us has access to rocks. I pulled some out for my kids that were just um, from some tile that was rocks that fell apart and that we didn't end up using and so that they could write on um, permanent marker, especially one with a thin tip works pretty well. But you could also be creative with this. If, um, if you don't have rocks, um, you could make rocks out of, you know, clay that you can bake or out of um, construction paper. Or, you know, as you see in Brian's and my thing, some of these things are not rocks. They're, they're things that remind us of ways God provided for us and protected us. And so a couple, I was just going to share a couple that I put in here so you guys might have some ideas to go back to. Um, we have one rock here that says financial provision. There was a time when Brian's business got to almost zero and it was just really unsettling time. But we can look back on that time and remember we felt so nervous. We didn't know how we were going to provide for our family, how we we're going to move forward. And um, it was just anxiety provoking and we wanted to hang on to God, but it was it was tough. And so I know a lot of us are feeling that now too. So that's one that we can look at back on and remember and helps us remember God's going to get us through this time too. And another one here is, um, is this piece of paper where um, Brian's grandmother canceled a debt we owed her. And uh, it was really difficult for us to pay on that. And we still owed many thousands of dollars. And she canceled it as a love gift to us. So those are two examples. Those are kind of big ones. But there can be smaller ones too. Invite your kids into this. This could be a great way to grow into how do we trust God and helping your family um, feel a sense of steadiness and let that spread even over onto your kids. So I hope you take time in the next day or two to just take out, um, you know, 10 minutes and do this together as a family. Love you, Greenhouse.